Hey swimmers, <clears throat> just finished my own swim and um, I had a few thoughts while I was swimming about you guys. Yes, I was trying to focus on my stroke, but I came up to, for a few things to share with people because today I was having leaky goggles syndrome. So um, I thought, geez, it would be kind of helpful. People are always asking about um, goggles and how to buy goggles. So here's a couple of tips for you. One is when you buy goggles, if you get a chance to buy them in the store versus online, what you want to do is just put the goggles on without the strap part and see if they suction to your face, okay? So that's one. And then I suggest that when you're putting the goggle strap on is to actually use the split strap, put up one a little bit higher and one a little bit lower. And so ladies, if you have a, a good chunk of hair, it's kind of between the um, what your where your ponytail would be or so. That's one. And then when you have the goggles on, make sure that your swim cap is not in the way. So you have a seal right against your skin. And then sometimes everyone's eye socket is a little different, so you may have to kind of up, down, just find that right place to um, sit your goggles into your eye sockets and then, you know, a little push on to suction them on. You don't want them, like, feeling like you've just had serious Botox and you're like, Bleh. okay? So just a little bit of suction is good. Um, some goggles come with a nose, a couple of different variations of nose pieces. So if you get your goggles and you're like, what are these little things? They're nose pieces, so that can make a difference. These are not changeable. Okay, but that is something to take into consideration. So, um, and I use a little bit of baby shampoo, as you might have read my blog, in the goggles to keep them from fogging up, because the fog lasts like one time, and then after that they typically fog. So I put a hairpin drop of baby shampoo, and I use baby shampoo because if it gets in your eyes, it tends not to sting. Um, I did not do that today, and so I had stinging eyes. I used just kind of a generic shampoo, and so my eyes are all bloodshot because I got a little leaking going on. These goggles are starting to wear down, which it seems to be typical that when they start to wear down, um, they start to leak. So you may not ever see these goggles ever again. So, um, yeah, so, and then when you're done um, with your goggles, make sure that you rinse them off in cold water. Don't rinse them off in, in warm water, in the shower water. The same with your cap and your suit. So make sure that you're rinsing things off after your swim. Maybe even a little soap could be handy every now and then. Um, so that's that. And you know what? Also, ladies with bathing suits, um, I see this all the time because um, I work with a lot of older women, is they buy um, their sit on, the, sit on the beach kind of bathing suits. And so the straps are not connected in the back, so you some, some um, bathing suits have what's called the tea bag or racer back, and that's to keep the straps from falling off your shoulders, so when you're swimming, you don't lose your suit and expose yourself um, to those folks that are around the pool. So it's important to get a swim suit that's made for swimming, because um, it also reduces drag. So some of these suits that women are wearing have little um, spongy cups in the breast and that is huge drag. Okay, so you don't want that. Um, really slow you down and just really kind of uncomfortable. So when you're buying a suit, ladies, um, get one that's designed for swimming and also the straps. Okay, some people don't like them tight, but you want it tight. Um, and when you put it on, the strap should not easily come up to your earlobe. So you can see how snug this one is. It's just below my earlobe. So keep that in mind when you're buying a suit. Um, then there are some suits, like these are really skinny straps. There are some suits out there that are much wider straps, which is kind of nice. So um, experiment around. And I know that they're expensive. You can be spending about $60, $70 for a really nice suit. But shop around. Um, there are some companies out there that have sales. Occasionally I've popped into like TJ Mar Maxx or Marshalls and I've found suits from last year um, for like $15, $20, sometimes $25 tops. So, and they're nice suits there. Some of the brand names um, swimwear out there. So, mm, uh, yeah. And oh, and guys, you know, try and get some jammers. So um, I know it's nice uh, that you, you know, want to wear your big baggy um, swim shorts, but they're also creating a huge amount of drag. So try and get jammers, and jammers are like bike shorts, they're snug fitting, um, but for swimming they wouldn't have that little cycling pad like they do for, um, for cycling. So there you have it, those are my few swim tips for the day. Thank you and see you at the pool. Ciao.